Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at printing this. So, um, what is this, you might be asking? Well, in short, it's a fan that goes on the side of the Juan Howe extruder. So, however, before we get there, let's do a quick, let's take a quick watch on the time lapse of this. And then we'll cut back, and then I've got several things to worthwhile talking about. So, um, time lapse. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, let's go. Okay, welcome back. So we watched a time lapse of this printing. Um, this has been quite the challenge to print, and if you take a look at it here, um, I can't say I'm a, I'm really overly happy with the way that this printed out. And I got to tell you, I printed a number of them, and um, I've really had some some big issues with the quality of how these these came out. And, and matter of fact, I even had to change my hot end nozzle uh, because of it. And, and I think one of the problems, and, and this is part of what I wanted to share in having printed these, is because of these these um, hexagons, if you will, in here, I think it was doing a lot of retraction. <clears throat> and I've got the all metals, the Swiss Micro all metal hot end in here. And that the 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 nozzle got extremely gummed up after attempting to print two of these, and I cleaned it out and put it back in, and 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 I just I just couldn't get it to work again, and so I swapped out the nozzle with a different nozzle, still the the same all metal hot end. Uh, I just put in one of the point three nozzles instead of the point four, and I was able to get something out of it. However, really, it's um it's rather odd. Now, one of the things that, that you might notice is that this is a bit beveled, so it doesn't print perfectly flat. So the back side of this actually came out nice, but it's this bottom side that really had some fits and starts. Now, I tried different infills, and I actually printed more of these. I mean, I printed over half a dozen of these attempting to get it to print. Um, and again, it was really quite the challenge. So... Um, this is probably about the best one I've gotten to print so far. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this on. It doesn't, you know, in short, the way that this mounts in is the two top screws, the tops up here are empty, so these pins actually go in there. And then what happens is the um, uh, bolts go in the bottom piece. So I'm a little bit interested to see how this, this will actually work. Because one of the things, the reason I'm doing this, I should add, is whenever I move this, this to... to you know, do the, the paper test, the paper level. I always stick my fingers in this fan. It drives me up a wall. Um, you know, it really doesn't hurt. I mean, because it stops the fan, but it startles you and everything else. So I thought, I came across this on Thingiverse and said, well, I'm going to print this out. This should be pretty simple. Uh, whew, boy, was I mistaken. I mean, I've got hours of, of work in this. And, 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 and you've seen other prints on the Wanhao. They come out great. I really don't understand what the problem has been with this, other than the fact it seems to do a, a lot of retraction on the way it prints these hexagons. You know, so there's a lot of back and forth. And I think what, what's happening is the the filament appears to be solidifying in in the hot end and plugging it up. Um, so 
I don't. That's about the best I can figure. So, if you have any uh, type of comments, let me let me know below or what you think. If you've printed this and you've had this um, problem, so. Anyways, we're going to take the uh, Allen wrench and we're going to take these these two screws out. And you might remember from the uh, extruder video where we changed the uh, the uh, hot end. Um, it's only these two that hold it together. So as I pull these apart, I'm sure it'll come apart. Now I'm really kind of, I want to see how this sits in here. Eh, that does pretty good. Because one of the things you'll notice that this sits into the fan and the bolt is, is recessed, the small bolt's recessed in there. So let me go ahead and take this other one out. And then this is going to fall apart when I do. And um, I'm trying to do it from this angle so you can see. So there we go, the, the things fell out of the fan. Uh, it's just kind of part of life. Okay, so this piece is going to fall out now. That's next. That was going to happen. So what we'll do is we'll take these out. And we'll put this in. And we'll put these two pins in so you can kind of see how that, that looks. Actually, you know, the, the design is actually pretty nice. And with that tapered uh, front, I really like it. Um, I just don't really get why it was so hard to... Uh, to print really was uh, frustrating and, and again I can only keep coming back to the vast number of retractions it was doing in a very short order. The other thing I had to do to make this work too I should mention is I had to slow it down from about 50 millimeters a second to I think around 20 or 30 uh, millimeters a second because again when it was going with those uh, hexagons it was really screwing them up and uh, as you saw in that one piece. Working around the camera is a little bit difficult. But I think I complained about that before. Okay, so let's see if uh, I've got enough bolt on here to catch. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, it doesn't appear I've got enough bolt to catch. Well, I'm gonna have I'm gonna move the camera over and see if I can't get uh, more directly on it. Okay, welcome back. So, ran into some problems with the uh, getting this on, and part of the problem is is you can see these pads here, and so this presses against it, and this this insets into the fan. And what happened is it only grabs, at least in my case, on, on mine, only grabs by a couple threads. So being pushed out this maybe quarter millimeter is about all it had to grab this motor. And so what I had to do to make this work is I actually drilled these pads out, you know, and shortcut these pads off um, just by drilling through here. And then so the bolts go straight through this housing. And then what I did is I took some silicone adhesive and placed them around these pins and slid this in here. And so now this is um, attached with, with silicone adhesive to here. So it, it's not, it, you know, it's shock resistant now because it's got silicone inside there holding this guard on. Uh, so if I want to pop it off, I can just take a screwdriver and pop it off. Um, it'll hold it on there without vibrating. And... Uh, I'll, I'll turn it on actually and let's uh so <clears throat> so there's no issue with it vibrating or making any type of noise and then I can press on it as you see without getting my fingers to move the which is how I always got my fingers stuck in there before I you know I guess I could push on this but it was just kind of habit to hit here and you see it's stuck on there now so that worked. I don't think that was the the best overall solution. Um, however, it's okay short-term solution. Again, I, I like the outcome of the the look and everything of it, so I can't complain about that. It just um, again the um, the bolts were simply just too short because I even took them out um, 
and measured them to see how much would stick through and with this fan guard on and the holes in it again with mine anyway it, they weren't coming out of this block and so I looked for see if I had some I think these are like an, an M4 or something like that and I don't have any longer than this so which they are quite long so I just had to make do with with what I did so anyways hopefully you found this interesting and, and again um, if you're gonna print this out again I'll put the link below uh, oof, I, I don't know be careful I guess this was this was an interesting print uh, and again I think it was the retraction that caused the problem uh, I did shorten the retraction too on this so so again like I say I, I printed about six of these I mean there's three here that, that were failed and trust me there are many more that that were failed it took me a while and again I just wanted to kind of keep going to see what the heck was going on and so uh, I don't know couldn't really find it out so anyways hey if you found this interesting give it a thumbs up even if you didn't find it interesting hey I appreciate the thumbs up uh, anyway and I'll pay you back in a different life so uh, also subscribe to the channel to be more coming out on this if you got any questions hit me up below and we'll see you in the next video Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.